Okay, so what you want to do is first uh, make sure that you're logged into your um, your education account, okay, not your personal one. And when you're in that account, the top right of your screen here, this is where you sign in. I have a bunch of different accounts. This is where you sign into the browser, okay? And if you don't know about that, let me just show you really quick. Um, if you sign in as a different person, it, it will bring up your bookmarks, your extensions, um, so it basically saves your data and links your data. And so when you switch to someone else, you can see different extensions, uh, different bookmarks. Okay, so you want to make sure you're logged in as the right person. So not just, uh, don't just log in in this location here. Okay, in the tab, you want to log into the entire browser. All right, so just to show you, if I log into, I can log in. Okay, so you, so you can see I'm logged in on this tab. I'm logged in under uh, the U of How To account, but the browser is still logged in under my daughter's name. Okay, I'm using my daughter to, to demo here. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, you want to make sure that you're logged in to the proper account. So the best way is to actually just sign in on that browser. Okay, and just to show you if I opened up another tab, now I'm back to just um, Alessia. So if I close, you can see, so just be careful when you're using these. Um, okay, so I'm logged in as Alessia, my daughter. I'm going to use her account because there was nothing in it. She's only a JK. So I'm going to go to takeout.google.com. And now I'll show you here. If I just went to takeout.google.com and hit enter, this takes me to a site that will let me download everything in that account. Okay. And so um, that's not what I want to do here. I just want to transfer my Google Drive and possibly my Gmail uh, data to an, another account. I don't want to download every single thing. Okay. If you do want to download every single thing, this is where you'd want to go. Takeout.google.com. Okay, and that gives you the option to download. You can check what you want and what you don't want. Okay, and when you're ready, it gives you this, these options here to export. Okay, and it zips the file and, and so on. So that's not where we want to go. We want takeout.google.com slash transfer. Okay, and so now we are logged in to our source account this is where we're going to take the files from and we want to transfer it to the destination account to our personal account okay so enter destination account so I'm going to okay so I'm going to send it to that account and so what we have to do here is Google will send that account a code and so I am logged in here into this account. Okay, so we're going to go into my Gmail. Okay, and you see I have this notification and I need this confirmation code. Okay, so I'm going to get the confirmation code. There it is. Okay, so this is just verifying that I own this account. Okay. So now with that verification code, I'm going to go back oops, back to my other browser and enter the code. Okay, so I'm back in, in my source account right now. Okay, so I want to verify. And so now it's going to tell me that it's going to copy everything from my drive and my Gmail. Okay, and I have the option to toggle either of those off. Uh, it would be kind of useless to toggle them both off, but let's say there's nothing in the Gmail account anyway, so let's just say uh, I only want my files from my drive. I don't really need my emails, okay? And it's showing you here just to, to double check. I'm taking my drive files from 
this account and moving it to this account. Okay, and so we're going to start the transfer. And I have to log in. Okay, you're all set. So it's saying uh, your copy and transfer is in progress. It may take up to a week. Now, if we go into this drive, you'll see I just created some stuff um, because, again, she's in JK and she didn't have anything in her Google Drive. So I just made a videos folder and threw a video in there and just made a few different uh, files here. And then the getting started is the, like a default uh, file that's in your Google Drive. Okay, so now this won't take long, um, but depending on the size it can take up to a week okay and you'll be notified when when it is finished okay so just to show you okay and so now i'm in the you have how to account and you can see that i actually have right here this new folder with the name of the account that um, my files were transferred from Okay, so if I open this up, there is everything that was just transferred. Now again, this happened within, I mean, like a minute or two for me, just because I have so few files. It can take up to a week for you, so you'll get the email to say that it's done, and then you'll see it all on your drive under a new folder. Okay, and now this is in your personal account, it's yours. And just to show you, this is a copy. Okay, so although it's yours to use right so I can edit here and so now that's edited um, if I go back to my daughter's account okay her files are still there and that document is unchanged okay so um, what this did now I'm back in the U of How To account. What that did is make a copy. So now this is mine and only mine. It does not delete the files from the other account, but it is also not, uh, it's not sharing those files. Okay, it made new copies and sent those copies to my personal account. Okay. Okay, so hopefully that helps. And if you like this video, if you found it useful, Consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one.